I'm new to shortcut and video editing. Can you tell me why that you want to edit your videos using multiple layers or multiple tracks rather than just putting everything into one timeline and create your movie from there? That's a very good question that you ask and I'm sure some of people want to know as well. Now, when I first started making videos as well, that is also the way I want to make my videos. I didn't want to complicate everything so I just put everything onto one single track. Now, there are a few reasons why you want to use uh, multiple tracks. Now, the first reason of uh, using multi-track is that it gives more flexibility. Now, let's say this is one of my existing uh, video clips that I've actually uh, edited and posted up to uh, YouTube. Now, if I want to make changes here, uh, and let's say somewhere between here and here, I want to put this scene on top. Now, the simplest way is actually just to move this uh, scene there and uh, it goes to the next scene and then it cuts back to the other track below. Okay, so I can actually cut in and cut out. Uh, alternatively, instead of using, say, uh, two video tracks from here and here, uh, let's say instead I just uh, split this and I split this here uh, and I remove this and then I put this down there. Okay, so this is my video and this is how I want it. Now, in future, if I want to re-edit uh, this video, uh, find locating this may be difficult. If I want to re-trim this, okay, and let's say I want to get back the original, uh, it might be a little bit more difficult, right? For example, this one over here. Alright, so then adjusting this clip a little bit is a little bit more difficult. So it gives more flexibility, alright, uh, rather than uh, trying to say uh, in the future, uh, removing this and trying to fill this up again or locating uh, another part. Let's say I want to use this instead, okay. Let's say I want to use this instead and uh, making the change, I can easily uh, do this rather than uh, trying to cut the hole out there because at the end of the day if this track is filled up there uh, it doesn't see this uh, scene at the bottom all right so uh, let's say i want to move this slightly i think okay maybe the timing is a little bit better here i can easily change that so uh, the first thing is uh, multi-track gives you better flexibility in that sense now the second reason is that some things uh, you can't do it on a single uh, track Another thing that I have to use a multiple track is do something called uh, a split screen where there's one character in the scene and there's another character over there. So that requires uh, me to use uh, two, sing two video tracks. You can't do it with one video track. Okay, so this is the second item. Now a third thing that requires using multiple track is doing something called chroma key uh, like what you're seeing here. Okay, so uh, if I turn off the chroma key filter, uh, if I turn off the upper track, this is what you will see. You just see the uh, track at the bottom. Okay, and this is a chroma key. Okay, let's turn out the chroma key. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And this is with the chroma key uh, filter. Alright, so this is the uh, another reason why you want to use the multiple track. Now, one of the other things that I use is that sometimes as I edit, uh, what I do is that I use another track as a scratch track. Now, what I mean by that is, okay, let's say I want to uh, cut, uh, cut this or split this video somewhere here, and then somewhere here, I want to split the video again and remove this portion. And then I want to say use, uh, maybe I'm going to use this, all right? For example, I'm going to use this uh, scene of the beach and uh, this is quite long video okay i do not know uh, how long this one needs to be so let's say i'm gonna estimate that it's uh, this is the out point and i'm gonna drag this down so what i'm do, going to do is i'm going to leave it on top first okay and try to match this to the uh, section here okay um, then i can actually just use it to uh, adjust it or retrim it to fit this uh, location over there Okay, so I use it as a uh, as a temporary track. Okay, and then uh, if I need to, I will then uh, for, for some transitions. Like sometimes for transitions, uh, I need to f do it this way. So so I use it as a uh, as a scratch pad in a sense. Okay, and then I know uh, that that clip can actually fit in. Okay, so for things like doing transition. 
Now, one final reason why I have multiple tracks, like in this case, I'm using track number three already, is that I watermark some of my videos with uh, James Wood courses. I hope you can see that over here. Okay, maybe I can just move it over here just for the purpose of this uh, example. Okay, so you can see that. Uh, now, some of the platforms that I upload the videos to, uh, they do not want to see all these uh, type of uh, tags or logo. So they want the video to be edited without uh, to be placed on their platform without all this so i can actually simply turn off this thing and then export the video that i've completed so i can have two versions of that video one with the logo and one without the logo so i can actually simply do this rather than uh, cut, uh, removing all this one by one from the tracks below so i hope that this answer helps you with your editing process if you like this video, do give it a like and if you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing. 